In fact, it's the big music story in the whole country. Here's Tony. There I am, standing on a corner in downtown Chalton Come Hardy, minding my own business, reading this week's enemy. And what do I see on the cover? This charming man, Morrissey whose group, the Smiths from Manchester, have been voted Group of the Year in the NME poll. And only that, their new album has gone straight into the charts at number one. What's it all about? If you haven't yet experienced the Smiths phenomenon, follow me. The Smiths, in rehearsal for their tour, which begins next week. And the man at the microphone, well, I used to know him as Stephen. But now they call him Morrissey. To some people, Morrissey is the Smiths. Which is really pretty unfair, considering there are four people in the band and considering that they can't do much out there without good drumming and bass playing. Do you two ever get annoyed at the attention given to Morrissey? Um, no, not really. I think he deserves the attention he gets. Um... Oh, oh, come on, come on. There must be a little sometime when you think it's all, all Steve, all Steve Morrissey up there. Well, you never feel well we know that we're appreciated, so I mean, but I mean, obviously, if we, if we don't do interviews and we're not on the TV like every hour like Morrissey, then, then we're not going to be uh, asked anything, so I mean, that's fine. I mean, we're happy where we are, we're in the background, that's how we'll come. There have been accusations, particularly from me, that you're a northern group who are traitors because you moved to London. Well, at the time, I had to move to London just so we could uh, keep an eye on the record company at the time, but uh, everything's turning over nicely. So we have a lot of concerts down You've there. You've moved back, haven't you? Well. Yes, we have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good to know it, and about time too, as well. Great life, as well. If the Morrissey cult has any real threat, then it's from the guitar cult, which is increasingly growing around the young man who writes the Smiths tunes. His name? Johnny Marr. I'd say, um, my style is influenced by, um, basically an American and English folk guitar. I seem to remember that kind of music, John. That, that sort of thing, yeah. Um, well, basically because there's a lot of space to fill with, with um, Smith stuff, especially live, I just um, take it and sort of try a little bit more aggressively and go... Uh, <laughs> As well as that, there's a bit of the old, there's, there's, there is a Sam Phillips kind of song influencing a lot of what we do. Uh, the old rock and roll, so, so Yeah, the, the kind of rockabilly-ish sort of thing. <laughs> that kind of thing. Those are the influences which have made the guitar fashionable again, Johnny, but I bet you can't tell me where the melodies come from. The answer is, I don't know, really. That's what Mozart used to say, you know. Good old Mozart. Mozart. Hit guy. And finally, the man himself. We could talk about art, we could talk about the gladiolis he used to have hanging out of his pocket, but let's instead talk about scandal. Stephen, your career has been dogged in a positive fashion by controversy and scandal. Yeah. Let's just talk about the latest one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's the opening lines on the opening track of the album, isn't it? Yes, yes. Which it is. says what? Um, the first two lines are belligerent ghouls run Manchester schools which seems to have really upset the Manchester Education Committee. I'm not surprised. Well, well, why are you not surprised? Well, it seems to be an attack on them. Why are you attacking them? Well, it is an attack on them, in a sense, but I feel that um, it, they're there to be attacked, really, if, 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 they're not, uh, if they're not really serving their pupils well. It has to be attacked, surely. I, I mean, are you saying this from your own personal experience? Entirely, entirely, which I'm sure is absolutely widespread. And I know from the amount of letters that we've received about this track that it means a great deal to people. And the fact, of course, that uh, the LP is in a run means that um, more people are going to Maybe it's because they like Johnny Myers' tunes. Yes, it could be. Yes, I'm sure it's several things, but that certainly hasn't hindered anything, I must ask you, what right does the fact that you are a popular and successful pop star give you to comment on political and local... Well, I fear, I fear that if, if, um, if popular singers don't say these things, who does? We can't have any faith in playwrights anymore. We can't have any faith in film stars. Young people don't care about those things. They're, they're dying out. And if you say, what rights do you have? The implication there to me is that, you know, popular music is quite a low art. It should be hidden. It can be there, but let's not say anything terribly important. Let's just, you know, make disco records or whatever. So I really feel that, that we do have an obligation. And um, I, I know that people respect it and they want it. And it's working to great effect. 
With the ideas you have and the feelings you express, I always wanted to ask you, Stephen, why do you want to be a pop star? Well, many reasons. It doesn't make life worse. That's all that I can say. It's quite interesting. You should try it one day.